It is a march for change in Coffee County. The effect on the children is just, it's not right. Something needs to change. About 100 people marched against bullying. Their passion has grown since a seventh grade girl took her life last month. It's sad that it took a tragedy to get people together like this, but I'm glad people are together. Many parents showed up at Monday afternoon's school board meeting. Some asked to speak. Are you able to do that tonight since we did ask? But public comments were not on the agenda. Several middle school students say bullying is a big problem. I've came home in tears and just cried my eyes out for hours because people say hurtful things. It's ridiculous because they call them cuss words and all sorts of other things they're not supposed to. We send them to school. We send them to school to learn. We don't send them to be scared. <laughs> Parents are speaking out on Facebook. They'll soon ask the school board to develop a strong anti-bullying policy and discipline system. My own daughter, she's crying all the time. She's depressed. She doesn't want to go to school. She doesn't want to ride the bus. This bullying is an ongoing problem for a lot of us here, and I think it needs to stop. The evening concluded with a candlelight vigil in memory of the 13-year-old who took her life. But the movement and fight for change are just beginning. I think we're going to do something really positive for Coffee County and hopefully beyond that too.